Hi, so today I have a really exciting big announcement. It's something I've been working on for a while. I'm going to tell you about that in a bit. But um, first of all, please say hi if you're watching and um, let me let me know if you're watching on the replay, put hashtag live and I'm going to go through a few things that I am talking about today. So I'm going to be talking about um, the love languages and what they are and I'm trying to figure out how, how to make this thing work. Ha say hi if you're watching live. So the five love languages, this is what I'm going to be talking about because this is related to my big announcement that I'm going to tell you about later on. So the five love languages is a theory which was created by Gary Chapman, who is a relationship guidance counsellor. And he created this theory because he found out through working with many, many couples who were struggling in their relationships that one of the reasons that they were struggling so much was that it, there was miscommunication. And what one of the things that was miscommunicated was how much they loved each other. And so they would often feel, one of them would feel like the other didn't love them. And that was because they were speaking a different language. And so he identified these five different languages, which are the ways that uh, we each communicate and understand uh, messages of love from somebody else. And so the five love languages are words of affirmation, quality time, physical touch, acts of service and receiving gifts. So one of these five is going to be your primary love language. And that doesn't mean that you don't appreciate love that is um, given to you or shown to you in any of the other ways. It simply means that you will have a primary love language. And if you can recognize all these other displays of love, then that's great because you'll start to then maybe appreciate that you are being told that you are loved by the other person. So why, why this? Because, you know, if you have been watching me or know me from any moment, you will know that I'm an architect. I'm an eco home architect. And what I do is help eco conscious homeowners to create their home, a home that makes your heart sing. And so where does the love languages come into that? Well, it's to do, I have looked at it in terms of how we can relate to our home and how we can get those love languages from our home so that we can feel loved within the space of our home. So I'm gonna tell you about how I found out about them, how I use them. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how you can use them with your why that's possible, how you can use them with your home, and also um, a little bit of a story time about um, a client of mine that I had and um, how I helped him make his home more lovable. And then we are going to go into a big, exciting announcement, and you can find out about that. So, hi, Cheetah Art and Svetlana. So here we go. We're going to, I'm going to tell you a story. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story about how I found out about the five love languages. So I am a single mum and it took about two years of really working very hard on my relationship with my ex because we wanted to stay together with, for our child. And during those two years that we went to relationship counseling, I found out about the five love languages. And I found them really fascinating. They were really interesting. Um, let me know if you know what your love language is. I'd love to know what your love language is. Um, type that in the comments below. So, when I was going through this relationship counselling, trying to save the relationship so we could stay together for the sake of our child, um, I kept the five love languages was something that we found out about and we tried to implement. 
And although, um, you know, with all the different techniques that we tried, we didn't manage to save our relationship, what we did manage to do was to turn what was a terrible, <laughs> very unhappy, very acrimonious relationship into a very amicable co-parenting relationship. So we're now separated, but we do co-parent and we do that very successfully. And, you know, we have a happy child as a result of it. And the um, five love languages are something that you can, a theory that you can um, use in any of your relationships, really. So any of your interpersonal relationships with your, your partner, with your child, with your friends, you can use it in all these different relationships. And so after having gone through that experience and realizing how powerful this can be, I had a think about how we could use it in our relationship with our space because the space that we have is really, it really defines us, our behavior and how we feel and our well being. Hi, Paula. Oh, acts of service. That's my first love language too. Um, yeah, I, and I think that's actually acts of service in terms of using that to inspire your home design is because that's my primary love language. I think that is where I've always focused in terms of how to how to redesign homes for other people. I've always focused on that. And having this reflection on the five love languages has really strengthened my ability to design for other people. Um, and that's a really key um, thing as well, is like how that's helped me, but it's also possible that it can really help you with your, your enjoyment of your home. So I, um, I decided that I would start to look at how to do that, how to, how to apply the love languages to your home design. And I had a client who came to me, he was a bachelor um, and his home was really quite tired and he was a bit fed up with it. And he came to me and he said, Jane, I just want you to help me make my home more lovable. And yeah, I felt like, you know, <laughs> we, we not only needed to make him feel like his home was more lovable, but also to give him a bit of a hug and a love as well. So what we did, you know, his home was like, you know, had peeling wallpaper, had some issues with damp and condensation. The space didn't work very well. The privacy and, and of it didn't work very well. The, it just, there were lots of things about it that didn't work very well, but it really stuck in my mind that the, what he, his overarching aim with his home, that he wanted to create a more lovable home. And I just thought that was the sweetest thing to want to achieve and, and realize that actually that's what we all want, isn't it? We all want a more lovable home, a home that we love more, but also a home that we love being in, like we, where we feel loved as well, and where a home that supports us, gives, creates that sort of environment where we can enjoy the love of other people that we share that space with as well. So there's lots of different aspects of how to bring love into your home. And so um, this, this is where it's really interesting to know, like first of all, what's your love language? So Paula's written hers down, it's acts of service. If you're, I'd love to know what your love language is. If you know what your love language is, type that in the comments below. And so what this, um, what I'm, I started to look at then was how we can use, apply the love languages to our space, but it, it could be in terms of the architecture of the space, but it also can be in terms of more of a, a, a daily refresh, kind of decorative, more interior design relationship as well. So there's lots of different ways that you can apply it. And so what I'm curious about is where you're at with your home, where are you renting your home or have you just moved house? So you're just starting to set it up, unpack and figure out where to put things. Um, are you buying your first place or have you lived in your home for years and maybe it's sort of starting to feel a bit tired? Um, or are you even considering moving because it feels like it just doesn't suit you anymore? 
So I'd be really curious to know if you could pop in the comments below how you're feeling about your home and where you're at with your home. And so this um, new thing, this big announcement, I feel like I should have a drum roll for this, is that I have been working on a mini course to create, I've created a way to teach you how to apply the five love languages to your home, really simple and easy way. Hi there, Gillian, and hi, Teresa. Um, so what I've created is the Create Your Lovable Home mini course, and it's for you regardless of if you're renting, if you own your own home, if you're just moving in and unpacking and figuring out where things go, or if you're at the point where you're maybe considering doing some bigger projects, maybe some house extension or something like that, or you just want to sort of refresh your space in some way, maybe a big decluttering type process. So this course, the, the way of using the five love languages is a lot um, related to design and curating your space. And I'm gonna talk about what that means in another video, because I'm gonna go live every day this week and talk about this new course that I've created. Um, so it will help you, it'll help you identify your love language. And then for each of the love languages, it will help you to figure out how to make that space work better for your primary love language, but also you can um, you can choose a selection of them or all of them and you can apply all of the love languages to your space. So that, you know, you can never have too much love, can you really? So you can incorporate all of the different love languages into your space if you wish. And it will show you how to do that. Um, it's all a lot of it's to do with curating the space around you and how you um, design that space and what you then um, include in the space and also what you get rid of from the space in order to make it um, speak your love language to you. It's a really low cost offer, it's only £47 and so it's a really accessible course for you to take and it's also really quick and easy to digest. Each of the lessons are between 10 and 15 minutes so you can binge watch the whole lot in just over an hour and really get stuck in. So in the course of like a weekend day, you could you could really radically change your um, your space so that it's injecting it with your love language and really making it feel so lovely for you. And you can buy it um, by following the link in the description. So if you click on that link, you'll find out more about the course and there are links in there that you can click on that will then take you to the page to buy it. And if you have any questions at all about this, I'd love to know what your questions are. If you're thinking, well, that sounds kind of interesting, but you know, I'm not sure about this. Please uh, put any questions below. I'm really interested to know what your, your thoughts are about this. And if you've got any questions, I'd love to answer them for you. And so um, that is the big announcement. The Create Your Lovable Home course is now live. You can now buy it. You are not the first people to hear about it. The people on the wait list got a really special juicy deal and they also got a, um, a little free gift as well. Um, but you are able to buy it now as well as them. So watch the rest of this week if you wish to find out more i'm going to go live every day and i'm going to talk about each of the love languages and you can find out a little bit more about the love languages and then in the course you can find out how to how to apply those to your space i hope you all have a lovely day in a lovely home or we can soon make it really lovely okay bye for now